Hello everyone. I am back with our new video. Today topic is fractions. So without any delay let's start our video. Fractions. In maths, there are three major types of fractions. They are proper fractions, improper fractions and mixed fractions. Fractions are those terms which have numerator and denominator. Based on these two terms we define its types. Fractions are the terms used to determine the parts of a whole object. Different types of fractions. A fraction is considered to be the ratio of two numbers. The upper number is called numerator, and the lower part is known as the denominator. When a whole of something is divided into the number of parts, then each part is referred to as a fraction. A typical example of how the concept of fraction works is illustrated in the below figure. Consider another example. A whole pizza is divided into eight pieces that form the fraction, where one piece of the whole pizza is represented as one-eighth, where one is the numerator and eight is the denominator. Proper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator, then it is known as a proper fraction. I.e., numerator less than denominator for example. Note. The value of proper fraction after further simplification is always less than 1. Improper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator, then it is known as an improper fraction. I.e., numerator, denominator, for example. Note. All the natural numbers can be represented in the form of fractions, where the denominator is always equal to 1. The simplification of improper fraction results in the value which is equal or greater than 1, but not less than 1. Mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is the combination of a natural number and fraction. It is basically an improper fraction. Note. Mixed fractions can always be converted into a fraction. An improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is always greater than 1. Like fractions. The fractions which have the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 half, 3 halves, 5 halves, 7 halves are like fractions. The simplification of such fractions is easy, as all the denominators here are the same. Suppose we need to add all the above like fractions, then, 1 half plus 3 halves plus 5 halves plus 7 halves equals, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, 2 equals 16 halves equals 8. Unlike fractions. The fractions which have unequal denominators or different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, one half, one third, one quarter, one fifth are unlike fractions. Simplication for such fractions is a little lengthy method since we need to factorize the denominator first and then simplify them in case of addition and subtraction. Suppose we have to add one half and one third. Then first we will find the LCM of 2 and 3 which is equal to 6. Now we need to multiply 1 half by 3 and 1 third by 2, both in numerator and denominator. The fractions become 3 sixths and 2 sixths. Now if we add 3 sixths and 2 sixths, we get 3 sixths plus 2 sixths equals 5 sixths. Equivalent Fractions when two or more fractions have the same result after simplification for which they represent the same portion of the whole, then such fractions are equal to each other and are called equivalent fractions. For example, one half and two quarters are equivalent. One third and three ninths are equivalent. Thank you for watching. 
please do like, share and subscribe.